to open ourselves up to these new perspectives and these new ideas that challenge what you may have grown up knowing. Um, but I think I am learning and I have learned and I hope to continue to learn um, what it means to really create that environment of unity and solidarity um, through conversations like this and through being open to what um, other people have grown up believing in where they are now. So my next question is, many people come to Kasamahan for different reasons and seeking different things. How do you envision bringing in members to engage and learn about the topics you want to cover when they may not know much about them or aren't used to talking about these topics? Alright, you can somehow close your to the laptop, possibly repeat that. I'm sorry, I didn't do that. Yeah, Jared's going to send it to you. <laughs> well, I guess I can start it off again. Um, I think one, the best way that someone can really address this concern is to make our events as accessible as possible. Because at the end of the day, we can't really convince everybody to attend every event because we all come from different perspectives and different levels of education and knowledge. But um, if we make our events as accessible as possible and potentially, um, yeah, and making the events as accessible as possible will hopefully spark a little bit of interest and convince everybody to um, attend the events. I would say like other than accessibility, I think like having, being able to have interactive like, workshops and events Especially when it comes to like deeper topics, I remember when we had the Philippine American History Month workshops last October. We it was on Zoom, and we ended up splitting into breakout rooms as well. So I'd say even whether it's like an in-person or a Zoom workshop or an event, having being able to like interact with other people and not just having to like sit in a room and like listen to people talk, especially like when it comes to deeper topics, which is like you know the more political aspects like elections. And so on. Um, this is also something that I learned from my time this year and from, from, from the people that I spent time with this year. But I really want to emphasize on creating a brave space and a safe space where membership um, can begin to feel comfortable discussing these topics. I know that it is hard to come into this space and to speak about heavier things. And as someone who hopes to be in the position to lead those discussions, I want it to be known that I recognize um, the hardship of that and I recognize the difficulty and the heaviness of these topics and that I am right here alongside the rest of membership um, and experiencing that with all of you. And I just really hope to emphasize community, um, not just within the Salmahan and not just within the UNSF campus, but also um, with the people that are the reason we're here at all and with um, our Filipinos back in the Philippines um, who are just as much a part of this organization and just as much a part of our stories as we are. And so overall, I think that when it comes to this question, I just really want to focus on, again, cultivating a brave environment where people um, feel comfortable and where I can extend that um, comfort and welcome them into the space and where I can also acknowledge myself that it is a heavy topic, it is a difficult topic, um, and just encouraging curiosity and again bravery and coming to the space um, even if maybe you know I know that I've been on that end before that I was on that end of being hesitant to um, engage in these discussions and learn about these things because I grew up I think very sheltered from my culture and I think what has helped me the most and what I hope to um, execute now in this position myself is just to stay persistent and to um, continue putting it out there and continue welcoming people in and just acknowledging um, these topics, where they come from and where they come from. This position works very closely with organizations like SC Plaza, CFCC, and Sydney Dog of the Baton Alliance. Understanding that there are so many organizations that we're affiliated with, 
There's also organizations that we lost touch with, with the Lata, Western, Lata Art Historical Society. How will you hold this organization and yourself accountable for maintaining these crucial relationships, especially since you all have additional organizations that you want to work with? I feel like one of the like, things we're working with so many different organizations outside of the school as well, one of the most important things is like maintaining um, maintaining like friendly communication and being like up to date about saying, hey, this is happening, yada yada yada, and whatnot. Like, I know. And Sebastian had her son recently, and I was I volunteered for day two actually, and seeing stuff like that, how like uh, how different colleges come together and work together to like hold events like these, that I think like something like that helps motivate. It's a good motivation as well for maintaining time um, communication as well as like just keeping track of who you're supposed to be communicating and with and not. Yeah, I agree with Sina, and it really comes down to the concept of leading through example. Um, I think the best way to really bridge the our organiz our Samahan and different organiz organizations is by being active ourselves. And um, luckily, through the last semester, I've been able to intern for Antipasa, and I've been able to see how a lot of the other organizations where it can really be applied and be accessible for our members here in Kasamahan. And I think really the best way is to. Um, stay mindful of all of these events and all of these organizations that offer really great opportunities for our members and uh, making them accessible and um, known throughout our member um, community. Um, I, I definitely agree with what both Saya and Rihanna said. I think that maintaining communication and accessibility is incredibly important in these relationships. I know that we are also coming out of the pandemic, or we are still in a pandemic, and I understand that that has strained um, communication and relationships, not just here, but really everywhere. And so that's something I also want to remain open to and understanding of that um, our capacity and the capacity that these organizations may have changed or may continue to change, especially in the context of the pandemic. And so moving into the school year, I want to be aware of that and be respectful of that. Um, and hopefully to create more opportunities for membership to build their own relationships with these works. Um, something that I mentioned in my platform is that I really want to emphasize on direct involvement with these works. And so um, I have a lot of these ideas that I really want to build upon and service is something that's really important to me. And so um, I think part of this for me um, and for my hope for this position and for this year is just to really um, begin creating these opportunities for membership to work directly with these organizations and to um, create a space for them to also be directly involved in these relationships instead of me being the only liaison, liaison, I don't want to say the word, sorry, um, between um, Kasamahan and those organizations. So um, really, I think involving membership these relationships and putting them um, and all of offering them the resources and the support that they need um, to create this community and build these relationships right alongside me. We have time for one more question. Yeah. Okay. Um, Janelle, I'll text you the question. Oh, Yeah. 
campus are the political and social bridge between the Philippines and the U.S. community. What challenges do you think would hinder you from executing such a bridge, and how will you overcome the challenge? All right, I can start us off again. Um, I think one of the biggest concerns and issues that I see, um, not only with this position, but in general, is that we have this constant stream of news that is updated every day. And it is really nearly impossible to stay updated with every little thing that happens, not only here, but also in the Philippines. And that is definitely going to be a challenge when it comes to this position, because we want to make sure that we give our members the most updated information as possible, and we want to keep them as aware as possible. Um, one way that I really um, do think that we can solve this issue is through utilizing not only our co-directors, but also our executive board um, when it comes to giving us these types of information. Because not only am I still learning and li very limited in what I get every day, all of our officers um, are also very limited. So I think that um, opening up a platform that allows our members to be able to give us information and for, to let us know like, hey, this is what's going on that is very recent. You may not have heard about it, but it's, I think it's worth um, giving attention to here in our space in Kasamaha. I think it would be really beneficial. And that way we can keep as updated as possible when it comes to um, the information that we want to give out.
about where we got our sources from, where we, you know, asking them what their thoughts are, what information they have for us. I think that open it up and help us, you know, create better links to the tools. If I may add another thing, if we have time, sorry. Um, another thought that came to mind is that when um, Canvas kind of serves as that bridge between the Philippines and between the U.S., I know that it can also become kind of taxing on the co-directors um, to kind of pay all their information. And so um, I do want to emphasize just having patience and respect for ourselves and care for ourselves um, as we do deal with these heavier topics and these things that are going on. And also trying to um, collaborate with most of the sorry, collaborate with the rest of the executive board um, and um, just being open about where we are in terms of our mindset and um, where we need support because I know that this is a very big role, it's a very serious role and I acknowledge that and I acknowledge that that can create difficulties for us and in our capacities and so I think being honest and transparent with that and reaching out for help when we need it is also a really important thing. Um, in a second, we're going to motion for more time. Does anyone else have any dire questions except for Slava? No? Okay. Um, so I, Jared, motion to add an additional seven minutes. Um, so, yeah. so we do talk a lot about like uh, Filipino issues, yeah. Um, but we do live in a place where we walk with and interact daily with people that belong in different communities than our own, so specifically non-Filipino communities. Um, these different communities face social and political injustice as well. Um, so how will you use this position and Kasamon's platform to be better allies to communities that are different from our own? I think we do have a lot of culturally focused films 
on campus and being able to collaborate with them and bring together our culture because as like immigrants or children of immigrants, our own culture has been like kind of meshed with in a sense with like, you know, our own environment and being able to uplift the voices of others and also join them in celebrating not just our culture but also their culture is something that's important because I think that's part of what being Filipino is. It's also being open towards other people and their own experiences and being like, you know, a support supporting others and not just those who are like us. And I see that through like, you know, holding events with other clubs such as, you know, the Southeast Asian Student Association, which I know Southeast Asia has a lot of similarities with the Philippines because we are in Southeast Asia, but also other culturally focused clubs. Yeah. And just to echo off of what both of our lovely candidates have said, I think one um, aspect that we really haven't really touched on as a club is intersectionality and how all of us and our allied friends all come with these different perspectives when we share this common ground. And hopefully through the workshops that we or the future co-directors will be able to organize, we really want to cultivate this idea of communication and discussion and giving our members the space to be able to talk about these shared experiences and all of that. And hopefully through that we'll be able to build that stronger connection between our members and our e and with the rest of the campus. So, yeah.